What is going on you guys? You know what time it is, I know what time it is, it is Premiership time. It is Crystal Palace versus West Ham United of 2016-17 Premier League season. Let's get to it. I'm really excited for this game. I love Crystal Palace. I've been there many times uh, in the past. Been there the past two seasons, 1-3-1. One, one. Can we replicate it today? I don't think so. I think Crystal Palace are going to beat us 2-0. But you know what? Let's get to it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. Right guys, made it to Paris, got out the tube, uh, made it, it's not a bad journey at all for us because it's not far away from us. Um, I did bring my flag as it is a London derby technically, so yeah, let's get to the ground. Uh, I'll show you some of the area, I'll show you what it's like around the ground and yeah, let's get to it. Right you guys, great news, I've just read on Twitter that Aaron Cresswell, he is going to be back. He, he apparently he's going to be starting on the bench today or he could be starting in the starting line. So I, I personally put him on the bench because I want to make sure he's fit to play again, but he's absolutely brilliant, he's back. A great player has come back into the game, hopefully you know he will have such a huge impact on it as well. And also he will just fit in I reckon with the squad, so you know we've got something to look forward to there. I reckon Billich will give him a go though, so it's good to hear, it's good to see and here. This place is old, proper, tradi traditional ground. Tell you what, I like this place, it, I really really enjoy it. I love the amps when I come here before and this place is just in itself really good. So you know I'm going to get inside the ground. Right you guys, so made it into my, uh, my seat now, just get the ground. I tell you what, every time I come here it's still such a nice place to go. Uh, it's a small ground, it's really close to the pitch if you guys haven't been here before I'll show you it now give you a little quick pan around that's our ground moment we are here very early but our game is late kickoff and we just don't want to be you know didn't want to risk being late cannot wait for this game I am stupidly looking forward to it so you know the, the games like these are the ones you want to go to London derbies I just always push it if, if you're neutral fans you don't support West Ham and not a London club you have to go to a London derby at some point they're always really really special games and the atmosphere is always always at its best so this game is going to be promised to give something good alright you guys so I'm with Hammers chat what do you think the score's going to be today mate? I fancy 2-0 2-0 I've got no reason to see 2-0 so you've got against I, I said 2-0 against, against us I, I'm a bit unconfident so the tide has got to turn at some point the tide has got to turn there we go thank you very much mate cheers West Brom are beating Tottenham. I'm ready for the game. I'm wearing my flag. It's London Derby, as I said, and I'm ready to do this. This ground, it's raining, it's going to be under the lights, it's going to get dark, it's going to be a dramatic game tonight. London Derby, under the lights, can't get any better than that. It's promising to be a good game so far. Check out the mascots. Look, they're ducks. Female one and a male one. I do like ducks. Eagles, I got it right. There we go. Boom. They legit have an eagle at the game and it sits on the crossbar every year. 
that is one. Quick chain ego, crikey. And then we've got the cheerleaders. Tompkins got a bit of most. So, 
Tough, complete and utter respect from the West Ham fans for singing at the Tompkins. I think you've really got a bit emotional about that, actually, and applauded us. I mean, complete respect from us. Fair enough. Well played, West Ham. Very close again for being 2-0. Unlucky not to be. But come on, West Ham. How are we not 2-0 up is unbelievable. All over them, all this half. They're on the attack. Well recovered. Oh my god, we should be smashing them. Could have been 1-1 one, one then, but luckily enough we kept it out. Free kick on the edge of the box of Palace. The edge of the box, Andros Townsend, it looks like he's going to uh, cross it in for him. I genuinely see them getting something out of this. Come on, you are! Lovely, that's what we're looking for. We need to give him confidence, we can do this. Very well out there at the moment. Oh, crikey, come on, come on. Hyatt's got it. Big goal, got a big goal. Oh. Off the line clearance, literally. Press for a red card, the FIFA, I don't think it was a red card, but he dived. I mean, cheat the player, but you know what? Well, we have to try to keep this. Oh my god, come on, we can do this, we're so close, come on. I'm back from the game and I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm so happy for West Ham that we finally got the three points and I tell you what, I've got to say congratulations to the West Ham fans for sticking behind the team the whole time. We did not stop singing and also singing Super Slav and Bilic, it's, it, I think that's really, really good. It gives the players, you know, a bit of confidence. We even sung to Zaza and it made him perform better than usual and thirdly, for West Ham fans as well, the way we showed respect to James Tompkins, um, I could tell he got emotional and uh, he, he really was, you know, I really think he appreciated that we were singing to him like that and he is one of our own, he, he you know, he's a West Ham supporter at the end of the day and he was brought up in the academy and um, look where he is now, he's a premiership footballer. The only reason he left us was because he wanted first team football and Bilic couldn't guarantee that for him so it's a fair, you know, it's sad that he went, but it's a fair reason. I just wanted to say one last thing. I met a vlogger today um, called Gonzo, and he's on Hammer's Chat on their own YouTube channel, which the link will be right here. So I'm, I'm just gonna, you know. I really, uh, go and check out his channel. He's really, really good if you haven't already. He's, um, he's a great YouTuber. He really talks about West Ham, and I just enjoy his content in general. So please go check him out, give him a like, subscribe. And yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe for more.